Let's go. Now you can rent a high-end GPU for Comfy UI starting at just 25 cents per hour and create content without limits. I've made a one-click installer that sets up Comfy UI, workflows, custom nodes, and models on a cloud-based service called runpod.io. Runpod is a platform where you can rent powerful GPUs by the hour. Instead of buying expensive hardware, you can launch a top-tier GPU in minutes, install Comfy UI, and keep all your work safely stored on your own volume. With this setup, you don't need to install every time. You can start Comfy UI just like it's on your own computer, in under one minute, and only pay for the hours you use. Let's get started. Go to runpod.io and sign in. After logging in, you'll see the main page where you can set up a Runpod template. But before we do that, you'll need funds on your account. Go to the billing page, add a credit card, and deposit at least $10. That's enough to get started with Runpod. Next, click on Storage in the menu. We need to rent a storage volume, because this is where we'll install Comfy UI and keep it permanently, ready to use at any time without reinstalling. Click the New Network Volume button. Choose a data center. I recommend one that supports a TX5090, 4090, or a 6000 graphics cards. Now, give your storage a name and set the size to 500 gigabytes. The cost of renting 500 gigabytes is about $35 per month. But don't worry, RunPod will only charge you about $1 per day, and you can delete it anytime. Finally, click Create Network Volume. Your storage is now ready, and you'll find it under the Storage section in the menu. Click on the Storage Volume you just created, then press Deploy Pod with Volume. Now, choose a graphics card based on the data center you selected earlier. The RTX 5090 is the best option for heavy workflows, but for the installation process, we will use a lower cost graphics card. Next, select the PyTorch to 0.8 RunPod template. Then click Edit Templates and adjust the settings. Set the container disk size to 500 gigabytes. Add port numbers 8765. That's it. Everything is configured. Now click Deploy to start your pod. When your pod is ready, you'll see two links. Port 8888 opens JupyterLab. This is our Linux interface where we'll install Comfy UI and download models. Port 8765 will be used later once Comfy UI is installed and running. For now, click on the Jupyter Lab link. Inside Jupyter Lab, the main folder on your storage is called Workspace. Anything you place here will stay saved as long as you keep your storage volume. Now drag and drop the installer files into the Workspace folder. Patreon members of Comfy UI Studio will have access to these files. They contain everything you need. The Comfy UI installer script, workflows, nodes, and model links for the included workflows. Wait until all files are uploaded. You can watch the progress bar at the bottom of the window. In the Jupyter Lab Launcher tab, open a new terminal. To install Comfy UI, we'll run the start.py script. This script checks if Comfy UI is already installed, and if not, it runs the installer automatically. In the terminal, type python start.py. Then press enter. The installation will begin, setting up Comfy UI, workflows, custom nodes and models. This step takes around 25 minutes, so sit back and let it finish. After the installation process, Comfy UI starts automatically. Go back to the RunPod website you'll see that port 8765 is now marked as ready. Click on the link and Comfy UI will open directly in your browser. Great, Comfy UI is running and all the workflows are in place. OK, let's make a test run to see if it's working. Choose the SDXL workflow and click the Run button. Everything works perfectly, 
but for even faster performance. We will stop this Comfy UI session and restart it with a high-end graphics card. Here's how. Close the Jupyter Lab window. Terminate your current pod. Choose Storage from the menu. Click on the volume. Deploy pod with volume. Choose a graphics card. Set the container disk size and ports like before and start Jupyter Lab. Now it will only start Comfy UI because it's already installed. Click on the HTTP service link to use the running Comfy UI. Now I will show you the price comparison between graphics cards. Here, you can see their model name, VRAM size, and cost per hour. I recommend using the ATX 5090, but if your project requires more VRAM, then choose a more powerful graphics card. Check the speed comparison sheet. I tested all the graphics cards, and the B200 was amazingly fast, but too expensive. I recommend using the ATX 5094 rendering, as it can handle all workflows with ease up to 1280 by 720 pixels, which is enough to create detailed videos. Once you've generated images and videos, you'll probably want to download them to your computer. Here's how. Navigate to your output folder. Right-click on an empty area and choose Download Current Folder as an archive from the pop-up menu. After downloading, I recommend deleting the output folder to avoid having the same images in your next download. I'll show you how to delete any folder quickly and easily. Right-click on the folder you want to delete. Choose Copy Path from the pop-up menu. Then open the terminal and type this command. The folder has been deleted. I've also prepared a script that automatically archives the output folder and removes the images afterward. In Jupyter Lab, navigate to the Files zip folder. Run the script zip.py. This will create an archive of your output folder. Once the archive is created, Right-click on it and select Download. Now you have all your images and videos saved locally on your PC. Now I'll show you how to download models from Hugging Face. Go to the Files folder. Then open the Downloader folder. Double-click on the Download.txt file. Here, you can paste the model download links and you must add a folder name after each link, separated by a space. This folder will be created automatically inside the models folder. Save the text file, then run the download.py python script. Open a new terminal and run the command python download.py. The script will skip models that are already downloaded, so there is no need to remove links from this text file. I've also included a model list text file with 141 models. Press Ctrl plus F to search for the one you need. Copy the link and paste it into download.txt file. Remember the rule, always use a direct hugging face link. 
followed by the folder name, separated by a space. When you're done, don't forget to terminate your pod. High-end GPUs cost around 80 cents per hour, so stopping the pod will prevent extra charges. After you terminate, the only cost is about $1 per day for storage, and all your files will stay safely saved there. And that's the complete setup, a fully working Comfy UI on RunPod, with workflows, models, outputs, and storage ready anytime. If you're a Patreon member, you'll receive constant updates, quick installer scripts, tutorials, and direct support whenever you need help. Thanks for watching, and happy creating with Comfy UI.